conceptual perspective. Talk about all of the elements. Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace here, dropping in with a little special announcement for those who have followed me for any stretch of time. You know, outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group, I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you. Dropped off my little grandson, so I'm about to go hang out with the fellas, watch a little ball or something. But I wanted to talk to you about something that's on my mind. You just saw the <clears throat> intro, uh, so you know that we are still pushing a fundraiser. If you believe in what I do, if you seriously have paid attention to what I've done just since I emerged on social media, which is roughly 12 years ago. Um, there's another 20 plus years that you don't see on social media. Uh, you can look at my work, you can look at the books, you can look at all the stuff on the site. If you believe in that stuff, if you believe in what I'm bringing to the table when you see me on here, we need your support. We need you to support the work we do. It's that simple. So go to the description box, click the link and give. Let me say that again. Go to the description box. Click the link again. Yes, click the like button. Yes, click the share button. All of that good stuff. But at the end of the day, what pays the bills, what gives us resources, what expands our reach, what gives us the tools we need to do everything we do in mental health, do everything we do in the socialization of young boys and girls, do everything we can with helping with domestic abuse and intimate partner violence, all of this stuff that we do, we need you to support it. So on that note, Go to the description box, click the link and give. If you want to, you can give through the organization's cash app uh, account. That information is in there too. Now let's talk. Look, you know one of my favorite quotes. It's an African proverb. If there's no enemy on the inside, the enemy on the outside uh, can do us no harm. Uh, I have chronologued tons and tons and tons of data on all of the impacts of white supremacy racism in the United States. Um, there are very few people who has the wealth of information cataloged as, as I do. Um, and that work is still ongoing. So you're never going to get an argument from me that white supremacy isn't at play. You're never going to get an argument from me that discrimination is still at play. You, you're never going to have me say that we're not in uh, Jim Crow 2.0. Jim, uh, uh, Jim Crow 2.0. You're not going to say we're not dealing with the new Jim Crow and get me to say it and believe it and speak it. However, what you are not going to do as well is get me to say that there's nothing we can do about it, that we are just at the mercy of what others are doing to us, how others are handling us. A lot of our 
our ills come from the enemy within, comes from the way we treat ourselves, comes from our lack of desire of consuming the right type of information. We consume poison on a regular basis. It's force, it's force fed to us, but many times we go right out and go looking for it. All you have to do is look at this channel. People ask when they read my books, when they watch my videos, when they look at some of the things that I go in depth on, the question is, why is it you only have X amount of subscribers? Well, that was a time I had 20,000. Uh, they took care of that, they snatched it. Uh, it, was, it was growing strong, but I've never been able to get it back. And here's one of the reasons why. I'm not a sensationalist. I'm not a person that does something solely for the sake of getting people to like my videos or to subscribe to my channel. What I bring is what I believe in. I stand on it. I'm not a clap, shuck and jive, dance type person. Uh, what I do and whenever I do it is going to be authentic. So if you catch me laughing or you catch me joking, if you catch me talking about something uh, that seems to be on the tr uh, a, a, a trendy topic, it's because of something I'm feeling. It's, it's because of something I say. I'm not going to do that. But all you got to do is I can look at how my numbers shift. You don't realize how much people are paying attention to you when you move on social media. From retailers to politicians to white supremacy think tanks. They're observing how you interact. They're observing what you gravitate towards. They're uh, music developers and uh, music uh, companies are looking at what you gravitate to. They're also playing a major role in dictating what you gravitate to. And what I look at is we constantly find ourselves in the throes of disruption, discard, uh, fallibility and failure because we don't understand how things work. That's been a constant theme. If you've watched me, you know that's a constant theme. We don't understand how things work. And because we don't understand how things work, uh, we're constantly being played. We're constantly being manipulated. We're constantly being mishandled. We're constantly being guided right into the very things that destroy us. D drugs, misogyny, self-hatred, so many different things are being pushed in the music. You don't find love in our music. You don't find celebration of women in the men, in the music that, that our men create. You don't find celebration and uplifting of the black men in that. You don't find the celebration and the promotion of oneness in the unions we have with one another. Uh, it's, it's about cheating. It's about this. Uh, I was watching a song the other day. There, there's competing... Uh, diss songs now between black women, you know, you know, fuck the uh, B I T C H and fuck the T R I C K and all this stuff. And the songs got the same beat, but the, it's one is black men dissing black women, and the other one is black women dissing black men. And that's what's in heavy rotation now. Uh, it's everybody, and what you don't understand is. There's nobody influenced by music at a higher and more intensified level than blacks. Music is a spiritual gateway, and there's nobody more spiritual than we are. I mean, I'm talking about naturally spiritual. If you go into uh, the brain and you look at the center of the brain and you look at the pineal, the pineal gland, and you look at the pineal gland and you start to understand that this thing is more than just what uh, creates uh, and produces melanin. This thing is the spiritual center of who we are. Our pineal glands are larger. Our pineal glands are more functional. That's why there's an ongoing uh, push to calcify the pineal gland. Why? Because that's where your great creativity comes from. That's where your oneness with God comes from. That's where you are able to get the answers and solutions to things that people think don't exist. But when you are constantly bombarded with information, you have fluoride in the water, fluoride, uh, fluoride in the water, there's fluoride in the toothpaste, there's fluoride in everything. Why? Because fluoride calcifies the pineal gland. So you've got that going on. Same time that they are calcifying the pineal gland and robbing you of your ability to manifest, create, and, and bring things into fruition on a level that is unparalleled in history. At the same time that's going on, they're also promoting psychological warfare where we are now starting to believe that we are each other's enemies and we can't survive without one another. But we've been convinced by way of what we consume. We consume poison. We, we, and and here, here, here's the greatest problem. We demand it. I don't want to listen to that. Uh, 
lame ass shit. I don't want to listen to nothing but fuck love. Blah 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 blah. And then which I want I, I want to disrespect my mate, my partner, the person that is absolutely necessary for me to be a progenitor in this in this universe. I, I, I want to disrespect that. I want to mishandle that. I want to misuse that. I want to make it less than what it is by constantly attacking it. And that it comes from either side, whether male or female. That, uh, that's enough of this shit to go around. So you're going to get this smoke today. Look. It's nothing more dangerous than a person that's been turned on themselves and you can't convince them that they've been turned on themselves. You can't show them you know how what they're listening to what they're reading what they're watching on a constant basis what they're constantly spewing out of their mouths is working either for them or against them and if you can't look in history and see how it helps you if you can't look at a track record if you can sit up and actually find a pattern that says since we have been moving in that this direction we have been on the decline since there has been a decline in two-parent households in the black community, there's been a decline in consistency, there's been a decline in morality, there's been an incline and increase in crime, there's been an incline and increase in violence, there's been an incline and increase in incarceration, and yes, there are mechanisms out there set up to trap you, but you decide whether you want to walk into the trap, and the hard push and influence on how you decide is what you're consuming, because it's conditioning and programming your mind. The data you consume is what is going to determine what you think. What you think is going to determine what you say and do. You are developing habits based off of how you're being programmed, how you're being influenced. At some point, we've got to come to an understanding that we need to be guarding the gates of our babies. We need to be guarding the gates of our teens. We need to be guarding the gates of our, our own gates. We need to be looking at what, why are we listening to music that in essence teaches us to disrespect ourselves. Pay attention. Go to some of these other channels and listen to the music. You know, even country music, it'll talk about the guy cheating. It'll talk about losing, losing your family and all that. But it's done in a way that says, this isn't what I wanted. This isn't what, I, it, it isn't celebrating it. It's, a, it's supposed to be sad. It's a sad occasion. It's framed in a certain way. And even when you go back and you look at the old days and you look at the blues, you know, um, uh, you know, with Johnny Taylor and all of those guys, when they're talking about the stuff they're doing, they're saying, hey, look, this is what happens when you don't do right. You know, um, we, ZZ Hill, all those guys, when you, you look at it, that, that's the reality that there are some things that we're doing we shouldn't be doing. But there are consequences that we don't want, that we don't want. It isn't, self, it isn't praised. It's understood in the music that I was doing something I shouldn't have been doing. And I ended up with a result I don't like. And here it is. It's 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 changed now. It's, you know, one of your biggest celebrated clowns is a dude that drops babies. And I'm not talking about Nick Cannon. Nick is on something else. And I, 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 I'm not gonna talk about that right now. But Nick is doing what Nick is doing. But I'm talking about the dude that I'm future. Just this is call it what it is. I'm call, talking about that because there's this idea that this is dude. Now, also what you got to understand, it's not just that this dude is dropping these babies and these chicks and mishandling them and, 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 and not showing respect for them and all of this stuff. That's one thing. The other thing is he's, you know, dropping these songs about shit like Molly and Percocets. And then when you talk to him, he don't do it. So he's promoting shit to your children, your teenagers, your, uh, I'm, I'm assuming that the vast majority of people watching this have kids who are adults or 
approaching adulthood. And for those of you that are almost in that same age bracket of the people who are actually consuming this, pay attention to what's going on. You want to worry about and be concerned about how someone is treating you. Look at the background. Look at what they're listening to. If you get into a guy's car, ladies, and he's bumping that stuff in in, 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 in his stuff, you're, women are being, black women are being referred to as it referred to as bitches and hoes and, and sluts and tramps and it's, it's hit this and, 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 and bang this and all of this and that's how his mind is being programmed. He can't have a respect for that. Now he may have a desire for you. That may be an animalistic uh, inherent physical desire but the idea of having a desire to treat you in a way that elevates you, having a desire to treat you in a way that strengthens you, have, having a desire to treat you in a way that brings you to a point where you're at your height and you can be the best you can be and in turn turn around and plug into him and amp his vision. He can't see that because he's not being taught that. Now on the flip side, guys, you get a woman and everything out of her mouth is she's referring to herself as a bitch. And then every chance she gets, she tears you down. Every chance she gets, she's talking about how sorry black men are. Every chance she gets, she's calling you a sperm donor. Or she's referring to people in the past as sperm donors. She's telling you she lacks the capacity to truly plug into you and be what you need her to be. That she has the tendency and potential to emasculate, to break down, to destroy. And that's not how we build. We build by elevating one another. We build by edifying one another. We build by, but when you are consuming poison and it's moving you to the level that you dance to it, that you feel it, and you watch them when you look at these TikTok videos. And these little challenges, all they are are viral components of programming you to hear a beat that your brain associates with a negative idea. Propaganda 101 on steroids. Let me say that again. When they can get you to do a challenge, your idea is I'm just doing a challenge. But everybody's doing this challenge and the challenge is being done to a song that your brain already knows the word to. Even if the words, if you're doing the musical version, there's this thing called neurosocial conditioning. Now on the, I, on, the, on the flip side, it's normally used as a means of helping somebody associate with negative or positive in order to get results. But what it also talks about is neurological processing, meaning that the moment that your brain encounters any type of data stimuli, it immediately associates it with everything it's ever encountered that has something to do with it. And it does it in less than uh, a, a, a fraction of a millisecond. That's how powerful it, the brain is and how quickly it processes. It can process uh, consciously 2,000 bits of information per second. But here's where it gets real wicked. Subconsciously, 4 billion bits of information per second. It can process everything and it does it in a, in, in a, in a, in a fraction of a millisecond. So. So the moment that that music comes on, the brain automatically says that the lyrics to that song are, even when you're not listening to it. So the brain at a subconscious level is playing the lyrics to that song, reprogramming it, reinforcing it every time you do the challenge. Now you got it out and everybody's seeing it, everybody's listening to it, and now you have an entire generation who has programmed the idea or concept to the song being used with the music being played. And so you've got to be very careful. A lot of the stuff that we think we start, we don't start. You know, a lot of these things are started by them and pushed on us and we consume it because we want to have fun. Escapism is our number one thing. We don't want to face anything. We don't want to put in work. We don't want to actually do something. Approaching a railroad crossing that might change it. And so with that being said, look, I'm going to challenge us to be aware. I'm going to challenge us to, to be aware and be responsible for what we listen to, what we allow to. One of the things, you know, 
my, my grass up wanted to use one, one of my phones. And so I'm like, you know, okay, you can watch YouTube, but I'm, I'm you know. And the thing is, the for, good thing is, there's nothing saved on my phone that he can't see. There's nothing that I have to work. But what I'm doing is I'm saying, hey, I still need to see what you're watching every so often. You know, you're on YouTube watching the Cartoon Channel. Uh, and he's having a blast, and that's great. But I got to make sure, because even with these cartoons, the program program, they've got a couple of cartoons that is every bit of hardcore porn if, if it was real. And it looks like it's made for kids. You got to be careful. They're forcing this stuff on so many, so many different levels. Here's the thing. We are responsible for what we consume. We are responsible for what we do. So in essence, what am I challenging you to do? I am challenging you to understand, and again, because we don't understand, we constantly get mishandled, misled, uh, mistreated, uh, misdirected, miseducated, and I can go on and on and on. It's time for us to stand up. It's time for us to do more. It's time for us to, to actually learn how to use the things that we have at our disposal to our advantage until, instead of to our detriment. And this is my challenge to you. So, again, when I sit up and I listen to this stuff and I'm going, this is not, and, and the thing, the song that I saw was a Tic Tac challenge. And it's a dude and his girl. And he's singing the F to B part version of a song, this song. And, and she's singing the, you know, the N-I-G-G's and tricks version of the same, uh, this back. And I don't know which this started first. Don't matter. What does matter is this is the person you live with. This is the person you with. This is supposed to be your boo. This is supposed to be the person that you care about more than anything you, that you hold in, in high regard. And that's another thing. We don't have a high enough regard. You know, it goes back to it. I, I'm glad that Charleston White effectively addressed that. It goes back to this idea that's being pushed out there that loving a black woman is a sign of weakness for a man. There's no greater show of strength than loving a black woman. Because I'm not talking about romance. I'm talking about responsibility. I'm talking about a sense and a role of knowing that you protect her, that you cover her, that you lead her, that you guide her, that you are a sense and, and, and source of provision for her, that, that when she's in your presence... There's no safer place she can be. She's not your possession. She's not some object. She is the glory of your identity. When you truly love her the way you're supposed to do, she is that glory. When people look at her, they see what type of dude you are. But we've lost that because they're constantly pumping this bullshit inside of us and... It is showing up in negative behavior that is leading to horrible, horrible consequences. Again, I'm about to get off of here. I'm about to go in and try to unwind, but I just need to drop that on you. So with that being said, let's do let's do better. Uh, also, let me say this. Me say this we need your support we need your support I can't stress that enough um, we're gonna have to do better on that on that note I'm just gonna call it what it is we need to do better than that I'm gonna get out of here get in see what's going on you guys have an unbelievable remainder of your day thanks a lot